Hey y'all! Today we are doing our first double, okay not double, I've technically done a double unboxing before but those are two different months. This is different, this is different. We are doing our first double Alcrate unboxing with the adult and the YA book boxes. I'm going to start filming them together for Alcrate and then Fairy Loot because it just makes sense. It, it makes sense and there's a lot of videos. If this is your first video here, hi, thank you for clicking. I'm Morgan. I really hope you enjoy this video. We'll check out some of my others and subscribe if you're liking the content. So let us get into the August boxes that finally arrived. I'm going to start with just the book, the um, adult book fantasy. Yes. <sighs> Words. Words failed. I don't particularly remember the theme for the adult one. I do for the YA. I think it's through the seasons. Yes, YA was through the seasons and adult is a... Adult is forever a curse. And... I think the descriptions were different. I, I didn't know what the book was going to be. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, this is this is pretty though. This is good. This is good. Yeah. Right. So the adult owl crate for October. August. The adult owl crate for August is Masters of Death by Olivia Blake, where our main character is a real estate agent who is also a vampire that's supposed to be the secondary thing and she's trying to sell a house but it's haunted so she has to recruit a i don't think he's a necromancer i think he's a, supposed to be a suit oh my goodness oh man and you can feel it oh i gotta show you this okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. medium he's supposed to be a fox is supposed to be a medium but he's not he is though the um godson of death so he's able to use that to his advantage and they have to work together to try to get this out of the house okay so this is the cover everything is a game if you play it right okay the problem with this is this is also the um the bookish boxes i think it was july and i i didn't cancel that one in time so i got that one the mortal thinks he has cheated death Death thinks he has cheated the mortal. Both are wrong. Neither knows it yet. Okay, I do love this stenciling though. This is awesome. And our inside looks like this. The back has the same family tree looking thing. Now, it was one of the books that I forgot which one started putting the author letters on the inside. Because while this is signed, right? Right? Okay, yes. While this is signed, this doesn't have an author letter. So maybe the adult ones just aren't coming with author letters? Oh, and our dust jacket is reversible. Oh my god, I love it. Hopefully that works. Okay, let me adjust this to show off on the bookshelf. And, no, um, yeah. Then we will open the YA box. Yeah, so, <laughs> I really thought this one said something about a girl trying to solve her mom's debt. It was a, I thought it was a murder mystery. Not this one maybe it still is but that's why i did not even assume that it would be the same book as the other box and who knows how long it'll take for the uh, bookish one to come in because i still haven't got the may box i knew they were incredibly behind though when i chose to try them and i will eventually get to try them but for now for now Maybe I read that one in October. Oh my god, box. Got it. Yes, I was right. Through the seasons. I think our doorway is in this one. I think this is 
Nope, this is not the doorway. What is this though? It's got a mountain. Picture, moons, more mountain, with uh, three stars over it. But what is this? Is this a tea holder? Interesting. It's got all the quartz. Oh my gosh, it's got the weather for all the different quartz. Oh, uh, that's awesome. And the Sacred Mountain, Romeo. And baggy. And a, a, solid, a solitary twist tie. Well, okay, we're gonna ignore the baggy thing. And just be like, this in itself is cool and can be used for holding things. Yes, that's what we're gonna go with. Mm -hmm. Let's do the wintry swept one. Does your box say? Immerse yourself within a magical, the magical quartz in the realm of fairy with this Akatar inspired tin. You can store your little fairy items or hide your most secret trinkets within them. The tin features stunning artwork representing each of the seven quartz in Perithian. So it's just a tin. Mm, they are not going to help us determine what to go in the tin, apparently. Okay. Everything is under the squiggles this month. Move the squiggles. Alright, and we have Rook, Bergamot and Autumn Woods from Fiction Bath Co. And it's a solid perfume. I think I've only ever gotten one of these. Does it twist? Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Bergamot, yeah. And I only know what that smell smells like mostly from the candles. So, okay. I'm assuming this is inspired by that book I recently heard about. The, in the, maybe it might be part of the Jacoby series. I will find out when I read the spoiler card and that would be cool if it is though. That would be cool if it is, because I just heard about that. Now I could be like, woohoo, I knew that one. And our treasured pin tome. I could read the front of it, but let's just open it. Let's see, I think they say it on the email, but I don't know. Feather Faucet. Encyclopedia of Fairies, EW. And it's got like string holding it together. I need to read this one, I do. Fairy circle. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And it's got date, uh, 29th October, 1909. Fairy circle found. Frost makes it difficult to find elements of magic. Uh, modern dryology, spring 1848, essays on meta folklore by Esther May something. I can't read the last name there. Ah, uh, this is, this is adorable. Uh -huh. I really hope I like the book to go with it. Um, forward facing, yes. And, oh, what is this? Uh, something with a bank class. This is what you must remember. The ending of one story is just the beginning of another. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Death is the fifth and master of all. Oh, yeah, we'll put some inside. Highlighter sticky tabs in shades of blue. That's awesome. I just recently tried using these and really I did not use them as much as I thought I would. I didn't, but also, I don't know. I think this goes better with quotes and stuff. At least that's what I was trying to use it for and then I did not tab quotes for the book at all, for either book. No quotes, I got no quotes. Some definitely probably quotable moments. I just got no quotes. Okay, yep, gonna admit that failure and just move on. Oh, this one is smaller than that one. Okay, and this is our store, next story doorway. I was expecting like, you know, a big, big square. Yeah, it was more squarish box. This one got a rectangular box. But you know, only hobbit holes are gonna have round doorways. That makes sense. And this one is, more like a wardrobe and dusty feeling. 
courage, dear heart. Oh. Not aligned properly, Morgan. Okay. I okay. Okay, I'm gonna put it on this one because I'm afraid if I put it at the top, it won't be seen right. I think I have it angled where it shows stuff on the top too, but you know, I might not have particularly. So that was of course from Narnia. I was right on the book. I was right on the book. Amy. I mean, the description just sounded like exactly like it, so. It's hard not to be right. I have read the description to the September, and it sounds really cool. I don't know what it is yet, though. But it sounds really cool, and I am excited to try that one. Excited, excited, excited. So let's open this one and show it off, because, oh, it's pretty. It is pretty. And the book, of course, is Omens of Ice by Jess Accardo. When a fae falls in love, it's forever. In the back, it says, our lives cannot stop. They will all be watching us. And this version is white with its beautiful blue and periwinkle sprayed edges. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love the cover. Okay, and it's got that same tagline on the back cover as just check it. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's it's so fairy. The inside. Hopefully the lights are not killing this. Oh, they're so bright though. She okay, no, I was like, is she barefoot? No. Not very foot. She has a symbol on her forehead though. Like a circular thing happening over there. And ooh, ooh, the back cover art. Okay. And yes, you need not forget author letter this time, Morgan. Or says it, okay, it's on my side. I'm pretty sure I forgot the author letter in July. Oh, I can, ooh, wait, I saw something. Scan the QR code for access to bonus content exclusively for Alcrate subscribers. Okay. Catalina Toon has spent her whole life training to become a bodyguard for the Winter Fae. It's the highest of honors for a druid. Only when Tiana arrives, Tiana, Tiana, hmm. Only when Tiana arrives at the Winter Court for the first time, nothing is what she expected. Her assignment is the heir to the throne, Valen, and he doesn't want her protection. In fact, he wants her gone yesterday. But Tiana will not compromise, even if he is the most arrogant jackass she's ever met. Because something isn't right in the Winter Court. Everyone has secrets, from the Winter Lord to the Kitchen Maids to the rising faction that wants the, dead, the prince dead. No one, who is, no one is who they seem. And now it's up to Tiana to keep her sacred oath and protect Valen, even when his smart mouth makes her the razor's thin, razor thin edge between love and hate. But the more she gets to know him, the more she realizes his secret is the biggest of all and might just, and might just get them both killed. Okay. <clears throat> Almost uh, messed up the wording there a lot. But, uh, pretty book, pretty book, pretty book. That one, though, it's winter. So, and it, and the color scheme too. So I really feel like that's probably going to be more of a December or January read. I don't know if I'm going to do December all Christmassy themed again. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But it's, I don't know. I feel like I want to do it in winter. I do. Okay. Uh, our newsletter. Yes. Words. It has the author interview. What new projects can we look forward to for seeing from you next? Um, it says the next book, Nature of Frost, comes out next year. Ooh, and it says, aside from that, I'm working on a really fun urban fantasy that I hope to be able to talk more about soon. It's cool, cool. And it shows their copy versus the original copy uh, cover of the book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the interview with the vendor was with Fiction Bath Co. That's cool. Which 
does like a lot of stuff for them for a lot of the book boxes really then their photo crate challenge photo crate challenge mm -hmm. and it says that they're gonna have you know the interview with the author streamed sometime in October I mean September <laughs> so you can follow them on any of the socials to be able to see that and The Forest Stands Tall is the bookish playlist for Omens of Eyes created by the author. And other releases that they're excited about this month is The House of Marion, Bring Me Your Midnight, Her Radiant Curse, Never a Hero, and The Guardians of Dawn Zahar. And they say this month, though, they are kind of ranging because some of these... Okay, it technically comes out in August. Two of those do technically come out in August, I guess. It's just the very last days of August. Our spoiler card before we check the theme for next month. Through the seasons, enter a new fantastical world with your our next story doorway designed with love by Ice Wreath. This item is inspired, of course, by the Chronicles of Narnia. And our next item is sure to bring your, you closer to the land of the fairy, a court of thorns and roses inspired tin designed, beautifully designed by Estoman Dennis and features art depicting each of the seven courts. Fiction Bath Co. brings the autumn season to life with this solid perfume inspired by an enchantment of ravens. Uh, I was wrong. It is vegan and holds scents of bergamot and autumn woods. Wear this before a walk through the fall forest for a cozy day of reading. Or on a cozy day of reading. I mean, you, you could read walking through the fall forests. And then, for the dedicated annotator, this item is sure to alleviate your reading experience. Our annotation kit allows for annotating your favorite quotes without having to highlight in the book. Inspired by the fifth season, this item was designed by Riddle and Ravens and Teresa Chin. Hmm. Okay. And then, this month's featured to treasure tome and animal pen is, uh, of course, a Inspired by Emily Wilde's Enchantment Encyclopedia of Fairies. What? Why can't I speak anymore? And then the book is Omens of Ice. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop because words, words are going so very badly right now here at the end. Uh, the uh, September uh, young adult is Drown Your Secrets. Every September box will include an exclusive tea handmade by Riddle's Tea Shop. Did any of this say anything? Where's the other one? Hold on. Okay, and September's theme for the adult is Follow the Breadcrumbs. I guess that's the murder mystery. I might have said that earlier. That's all for this unboxing. I'm sorry my words went so weird and out of order there at the end. I, I promise I can read. I do. I, I read these behind me. They're not props. <laughs> Thank you though if you stuck around and if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, I have my September TBR here up now and if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing so you can catch every Monday's new release videos where we talk about the books coming out every week and there will be future reviews and unboxings of course that you'll be notified about if you're subscribed. Thank y'all so much. I hope you're finding something awesome to read today, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.